My uh, favorite part of the hip hop song is the very beginning of the song because it sounds like the rapper is trapped in the dark <laughs> and he's trying to find his friends. <laughs> Yo, this is Jay-Z, where's everybody at? <laughs> For real, holla if you hear me. <laughs> Everybody put your hands up. <laughs> it is all black everything in here. I cannot see my haters. <laughs> Kanye, you a fool for this one. Ha ha ha. <laughs> East side, west side, can a brother just get some coordinates? <laughs> I'm gonna do an impression of my favorite rapper. Andre 3000 yeah. performing his hit song, Hey Ya. But while he's performing the song, unfortunately, he becomes a white supremacist. <laughs> and then he tries to get women to join his cause. <laughs> all right, now, fellas, tell me, what's cool than being cool? High school. All right, 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 all right. OK, now, ladies. The weirdest job I ever had was doing ghost tours uh, at a slave plantation. Uh, by the time, by the time I was there, the slavery was gone, but the but the but the plantation was still there. Uh, the weird thing was, in my ghost tours, they didn't want me to mention slavery. All right, can you imagine that? Uh, you don't have to. I'm gonna show you what it was like right now. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, weary travelers. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I've been working hard all day at my unpaid internship. Um, if you'll follow me here through the kitchen, you'll see many seasonings and spices that historically white people have never touched. Uh, someone uses them, but we do not know who. Uh, over in the corner is a banjo. The banjo has its origins in Africa. How did it get all the way here to Georgia? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> this, uh, uh, this plantation that I worked at, it was in a place in Georgia called Stone Mountain. And if you've never been, Stone Mountain is known for having probably the largest Confederate monument there is. It's on the side of the mountain, right? And, you know, people um, have feelings about Confederate monuments. There's some people that are like, you know, that's a part of our history, our heritage, and if it's a Confederate monument, it needs to stay up. And then everybody else is like, uh, what, you know? <laughs> I believe if you, have to com if you have to keep a Confederate monument someplace, if you want to keep it there, that's fine, but then you have to build a bigger statue above it of LeBron James dunking on it. <laughs> I, in general, I don't like the way that black history is taught in schools because it seems like teachers have a tough time talking about blackness without always attaching uh, trauma and suffering to it, uh, even though there's more to the story. So let's say, for example, like right here is the beginning of black history, and then right here is the year 2020. This is how I see it being taught in schools a lot of the time, all right? <clears throat> no! of Obama. No! <laughs> but if you had a more informed teacher, the way that they'd really teach that is... Nobody stopped us! We kept going, triumphing through everything. OJ did it. And we kept trying to do what we had to do. I'm gonna switch it up, I'm gonna do a quick impression for y'all. This is my impression um, of a Game of Thrones character singing the lyrics to the Cupid Shuffle, okay? <laughs> 
Down, down, do your dance, do your dance, do your dance. Down, down, do your dance, do your dance. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the king of the north.